What's going on guys? John the Video Guy here. Welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning in. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do light trails inside Adobe After Effects. So I was working on a cool motion project and I created this animation and I wanted to show you guys how to create this from scratch. So if that sounds good to you guys, let's dive into today's video tutorial. So the first thing we'll do inside After Effects is create a new composition. So go to Composition, New Composition, then name it Light Trails. I'm going to use the 1080 settings here, 30 seconds long, click OK. Next go to Layer, New Solid. And this will be our Light Trails, so I'm going to name it Light Trails. Click OK. Next, go into the Effects and Presets panel and type in Fractal Noise. Under Noise and Grain, click that effect, drag it to your solid, and you should have something like this. Inside the Effects Controls, we're going to change a few settings. So first, change the Noise Type to Linear. Change the Contrast to around 500. Change the Brightness to around negative 100. Then under Transform, Uncheck unified Uniform Scaling, then change the width to around 3000, then change the height to around 30. Now we got something that looks like light streaks. Okay, so there's a few different ways you could go with this. If you want to actually control the direction of the light streaks, um, you can use this feature offset turbulence. If you just want to you know, just make it a random, you can do evolution. So it really depends what you want because you can see as I animate evolution, they kind of randomly go. But say for example, if you wanted to go in a certain direction, like left and right, all of them, you can use offset turbulence. So in this example, I'm gonna show you how to do that with offset turbulence. So first, make sure you're at the beginning of your timeline here and click on the stopwatch to create the keyframe. Then go forward in time to near the end and keep dragging out the first value. Keep dragging until around there is good. And then what you'll notice here is that it stops at some point in time if you scrub on your timeline. What you want to do is find that point in time where it stops because that's when it ends. So if you can zoom in, I'm zooming in using the plus button and just find that period of time where it stops. Right there is good. Click on the layer in the timeline, click U on your keyboard to bring up all the keyframes and make a keyframe right there. Then zoom out using the minus key on your keyboard. Then click on the last keyframe and hit delete. So now we know from here to here is the entire offset. So what you can do here is speed this up by clicking and dragging this keyframe up and now you have some fast light leaks happening. You can keep dragging it up or back if you want it slower or faster. So this is really up to you on how fast you want your light leaks to be. But we do have a problem here, it does stop. So what we'll do is add an expression so that it continues to loop for the entirety of this composition. So what we'll do here is option click on the stopwatch here and we'll type in an expression. And also if you don't want to type in the code manually, I'll link it down in the video description. Feel free to go copy and paste that code. The expression is a loop out expression. So it's L-O-O-P, capital O-U-T, then parentheses, type, space, equals space, and then in parentheses, cycle. So the type will be cycle and a comma after cycle, space, num keyframes, then space equals space zero, and then go to the end and hit a semicolon. And there we go. Now we have a looping light leaks animation that will basically continue to loop in between those keyframes for infinity. So one other thing we can do here is say if you want to preserve the black, you'll notice that you know, there's a black background. Maybe you only want the white and not the background. What you can easily do is click on this layer. I'm going to click U to collapse the keyframes. Hit Command D or Control D on a PC. And what you can easily do is change the target mat to luma mat. And this will essentially put the luma of this layer into that layer. And if we toggle transparency grid, you'll notice that only the highlights are being shown. And what we'll do next is pre-compose these. So we'll just select these, right click on the layers, and then go to pre-compose. And we'll name this Light Trails 
pre-comp and we'll click OK. All right, so now comes the fun part and what we're gonna do is add this light trails animation to our photo. So I just grabbed this random photo from Unsplash, but you can use whatever photo you'd like. I'm gonna drag this into my After Effects timeline. And there we go. I'm gonna scale this down a little bit so that it fits the frame a little bit better. So how you can change this light trail to fit the photo or the video that you're trying to add it to is you can use the you know position and rotation parameters. So if you are on your keyboard, you'll bring up rotation. What you can do is change the rotation so we'll make it 90 degrees. And to bend and warp it to the actual image, a cool effect to use is called corner pin. So we'll search for corner pin in effects and controls and drag that out to your pre-comp. Now if we zoom out here, you'll see that there's little pins on the edges of the, the pre-comp. Simply click and drag this to warp the pre-comp layer. So we'll just drag it to the areas where we want it to be on the actual composition. If we play that back, you can see where it is. And just continue to make adjustments as needed to get it to your specific image. You can play this back to kind of see where the animation is. So that's looking good. Now let's colorize it. So the next part, if you go to your effects and presets, we'll type in gradient. And you'll see a four color gradient. You can drag this to your pre-composition. And similarly, there's four points. So feel free to rearrange this to the different edges of your pre-composed layer. And then you can change the colors and the effects controls to different colors that you want. I'm gonna do warm tones for this, so you know, different shades of yellow and orange. Since most headlights are yellow, you can do blue as well. Feel free to adjust as needed, but you should have something like this. And then the next part is to add a glow. So we'll search for the glow and drag that to our pre-composed layer. And we'll change some of these settings here. We'll change the threshold to 80%. Then the glow radius to 100. Then the glow intensity to around four. Now we got some nice glow happening. But depending on your image, you can adjust this as needed. One other thing that you can do do this to this layer is change the transfer mode from normal to add. And this will add it to the background, kind of pumping up the additives in this layer. So now we got something that looks like that. Now guys, depending on your image, if you want to make these light streaks bigger, what you can do is go back into here and the setting that you can adjust under transform is the height. If you change the height to something thicker, say maybe 70, and then you do it for both of these, if you uh, did what I did with the Luma mat, you'll notice that you have thicker lines now. So depending on the type of project you're working on, you can make them bigger or smaller, depending on what you want to achieve. The only th other thing, guys, that I did for the other side is I basically just duplicated this layer by hitting Command D. Then I brought up the rotation and changed the direction to negative 90. I deleted the corner pin and then I researched for the corner pin again and realigned it to the other side. And the other thing I did as well is that I changed the colors since this side of the road is more uh, oncoming traffic, or sorry, going away, so you'd see the tail lights. The only thing I did over here is that I changed the color. I'm gonna rearrange these uh, effects here. I changed the colors to more red, so that way you kind of see their tail lights more. So there you go, guys. That's pretty much it, how to make this type of an effect. Feel free to refine this as you wish to, to get it to where you need it to be for your own project. But in general, that is how you create this light streaks effect inside After Effects. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you want to learn more about After Effects and maybe some of the effects that you can use to generate these type of effects, I created a video going over the top 10 effects to use in Adobe After Effects. I'll link that video right up here. Feel free to go check it out. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.